For the next two days, we're surviving off only what we can catch with our hand spears. We forage the coastline to catch whatever we can to survive and cook it in the most traditional methods straight over Cheers. the fire. And this wild adventure all begins now. What is going on, guys? We're down here right now, and we have a very special guest right here. Oh, yeah! You were saying? Yeah. <laughs> we have a super special guest here. Mr. Nick Fry over here. We're doing a bit of a challenge today. Doing a challenge. He's flown from the other side of Australia to join me in my hometown today. It's a really nice little cove in here. So what's the plan? What are we doing? We are doing an eat only what we can catch using these hand spears. But there's a little bit of a twist, mate. Yeah. We're going to be catching each other food. So whatever you catch, that's what I'm eating for the next two days. And whatever I catch, that's what you're eating for the next two days. Holy crap, this will be good. <laughs> so guys, awesome. this could go either way. You can either get something really good and flex on the other person, or you can get something absolute rubbish and give it to them. They have to eat that for the next two days. Yeah, but the other situation is, there's two very different spears here, bro. What's the go? Yeah, we have one spear that's actually like a proper good spear, and the other one is like, thing. Pretty much worse than like wish, bro. <laughs> That's what we're working with. Whoever gets a good hand spear today gets the bad one tomorrow. So basically what you're saying is whoever's running the good spear is probably gonna get a better feed for the other bloke. Yeah, <laughs> probably the one so time I, I want the, the bad yeah. spear. <laughs> yeah. Scissors, paper, rock. Scissors, paper, rock. Scissors, paper, rock. No! You know what, I'll take the good one. Let's take this, this bad boy for a ride. All yeah. right. So Nick has chosen the good hand spear. It's like a proper, I guess, like pole yeah, spear. Look at that. Nice rubber on it. And I've got this thing that looks like a bloody mangled ibis. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna gear up right now. We're gonna split up, so we're not gonna know what we're gonna get each other. And then we'll regroup back on the beach once we have caught each other food for day number one. Oh, we're breaking away. Good luck, brother. Please get me something good. All right. I found a nice bit here. I'm gonna gear up. I have the good spear, so I don't really know what to do. Eh? I could really stitch him up with something crap eating, or I could actually get him something nice. I don't know. We'll get in there. We'll just see what's happening. I'm feeling generous. Otherwise, I'll just shoot the worst eating fish I can find. This is only day one, guys. So tomorrow morning, I'm gonna have the good spear, and then hopefully I can get something good for him with the good spear. Today, I might just stitch him up, eh? I think he deserves it. He's visiting me. You know, usually the person that's visiting, you're supposed to, I guess, give them the treatment and everything like that, but. Screw it, mate. I don't think he's gonna give me very good treatment, so maybe we'll just stitch him up, I reckon. Plan of attack, I'm gonna jump in here, and then what we're gonna do is just make our way along this rock shelf, and hopefully we can pick up something half decent with this hand spear, otherwise we're stitching the bloke up and we can laugh at him all afternoon. The freaking bread just broke. Looks gonna be going starving. That's three times I miss that fish. He deserves to live. Oh, <laughs> there's Wed's dinner. 
That was an awesome shot. I've been missing these guys so much. She's a montage made so many times, but we'll take him in, put him out on the beach. There's Wade's dinner. <laughs> Wade's feeds, pretty crappy, sweet lip wong looking thing, so I think it's gonna be funny when he sees this. I wonder if he's even got anything for me because it was that hard to bloody shoot these things out here, but that's probably better than going hungry, so you're welcome, Wade. Come out and I've just nailed this thing. This is what we call a painted moorong. They are pretty much one of the worst fish in the ocean. They call them the mother-in-law fish because you're supposed to give them to your mother-in-law to eat. Like no one wants to eat them. But anyway, this is what we got guys. We're gonna give this to him. <laughs> it's gonna be absolutely rubbish that we have stitched this bloke up. <laughs> also, I just had a little bit of an idea. We could potentially add some little condiments maybe to his uh, beautiful moorong. We gotta give him a little bit of a feast, I reckon. So uh, let's see what else we can find out here for him. That's a nice little condiment for Mr. Nick Fry. Ah, that will go nice with that uh, beautiful ball on. <laughs> All right, we have just come in, guys, from that uh, absolute wicked hand spear mission, mate. <laughs> yeah. How'd you go? I went all right. You'll you see. Go? You'll see the footage, but um, yeah, I got something nice for you. Yeah, I got a few nice things for you too. Alright, shall I grab mine first? Yeah, you go grab yours first and I'll uh, bring her over for the big reveal, mate. Fingers crossed, something good, guys. Fingers crossed. Uh, Here we go. You ready? Here we go. What has he got me? I got you. A platinum snapper. <laughs> also known as a Wong. <laughs> Alright, watch the footage, you'll see how many of these I missed. But, um, yeah, got one for you, so there you go, bro. Aren't they like a bloody one out of five eating, bro? For a one out of five bloke. Yep. <laughs> but there it is. It's not a terrible fish. He's a bit of a bloody fish snob, so he'll carry on a bit, but I'm not a it's fish, edible, I'm bro. not a fish it's snob, edible. bro. I just don't eat that <laughs> I know this bloke's been plotting something for a while, so he's probably got something ridiculous, but you guys know me. I can eat anything. <laughs> it's not gonna phase me. Whatever he brings up will be delicious. Guaranteed. Two hands behind the back, mate. All right, so this is what you're eating for the first day, mate. The mother oh, of all <laughs> mother-in-law fish, bro. The exact same, except it's twice the size. Oh, hey. <laughs> so you're gonna be eating way more, bro. Oh. There we go, there's your beautiful meal. Thanks, and bro. Uh, to top it off, I got him a crown. <laughs> what the hell is this? Did you catch a bloody ocean echidna? What is this? <laughs> yeah. What the hell is this spike ball? Sea urchid, bro, that's what you're eating. Right oh now, God. cracking it on the rocks. <laughs> that is your first snack, bro. I'm always a make the most of a bad sort of situation kind of guy, so I've never eaten these before. They're edible, at least, so I'm keen to try it. I'm coming here with positive vibes. Let's see, let's see. You gonna bang it? Yeah, we'll crack it open. Beautiful, mate. Dude, what is that? So you wash her out, and then you eat the yellow stuff inside. The yellow stuff? Yep, give her a wash. This looks worse on the inside than the outside. Give her a good wash out, yep. Yep, just keep splitting her open. Yep, oh, see man. all that yellow stuff on the sides? Yeah. That's exactly what you're eating though. That? Yep, all of that. Food poisoning's gonna happen all over again. <laughs> Look at that beautiful meal. <laughs> Come on, mate, get it down. <laughs> you're not stitching me up, are you? <laughs> Is it even edible? <laughs> yeah, it's edible. That's the edible part, bro. The Kiwis love it. <laughs> Whatever he brings up will be delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I've eaten them before. They're not that bad. Ah, just stood on it. <laughs> oh. Man, he's got an urge in his foot, bro. <laughs> Holy crap. All right, guys, we're going to cook up the bloody oh, Jill, the Jill Moorong right now, and we're going <laughs> to enjoy this dinner. 
Yeah, let's, let's, go. Go. let's go. Nick, this is your first time down at the cook-up spot, bro. So I'm going on a wander, mate. This is unbelievable. Look at this. Guys, Sunset, it is glamorous right now, and we're doing one wicked cook-up. We're cooking up these uh, <laughs> wicked cook fat, up <laughs> fat morwongs for each other, guys. Uh, yeah. And that will be our food for day number one. We do have a massive day two planned for tomorrow, guys, so we're just going to get this morwong feed into us. Yeah, let's just get the fire cranking. We'll eat that, chill here the night or something, and then yeah. set yeah. it tomorrow. We've got plans right now, guys. We've got the swags in the car. We're just going to set them up for here tonight. And then tomorrow morning, we're going to send it out there, Hell get yeah. food for day two. Eh? Absolutely, bro. I'll yeah. be keen for that. This is sick. All right, we're going to get this fire cranking. Yeah, let's collect some wood. Eh? Yeah, collect some wood. Let's go. Come on, mate. You got to pull your weight. I'm hungry. I'm not bloody cooking you up this morning and making your fire. All I've eaten is sea urchin today. I'm <laughs> starving. <laughs> oh. Holy shit. <laughs> we're in an ants nest. Run! Yeah, there's ants in WA, bro. <laughs> Guys, we've just collected a little bit of kindling right now. We've got heaps of wood right behind us, so we're just going to spark up this fire and we'll get the wong straight on, eh? Get it cranking, mate. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> we're having a tournament. So these fish we're cooking up, they're called more wong. So we're going to see how many times we can use the word wong in our sentences as like puns. <laughs> yeah, wong place, wong time for that one. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, three? <laughs> yeah. Three nil. All right. Uh, All right, hopefully I don't get this one. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I think we got it here. Get that on, get that on. Woo -hoo -hoo. Let me tell you guys, you can't go wong with a little bit of bark or a little bit of leaves <laughs> to get this going. <laughs> oh yeah. We are on. Let's go. I don't know what's wrong with our fire, but it's not really taken off, is it? Yeah. It doesn't know how to build a fire. You gotta put the smaller stuff first. Oh, there it is. No, I do. Watch this. So you, yeah, so this. This is all the light stuff over the top, so hopefully that should just light up from the bottom. Look, it's taken. It's taken. You ready? You ready? You ready? Look at that. That is how it's done. We've done it. <laughs> fire is on the cook right now. Nick is on our fire duties. He's just Good fueling job. this bad boy. Yeah. We need heaps of coals, because obviously we're cooking two fish on the fire here, so get a nice big bed of coals here. How are you doing yours? We should slap them straight on. Yeah, I reckon we just slap them straight on. We're not we... getting fancy with it. Yeah, we're losing light right now, so I reckon we just huck them straight on. To be honest, I don't reckon there's much we can do to uh, rescue these wongs. Nah. I think they're going to be bad either way. I reckon we chuck all the crap out of them. <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, I like that idea. Let's let's chuck all these, mate. Yeah. Any type of burnt flavour we can get is going to make them taste yeah, better. It's going to be real smoky. All right, let's grab these wongs. We got these two wongs for each other, Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Let's get them straight on. Woo! Two wongs don't make a trout, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow we're waking up. It's a fresh new day, and we're going to send it out there. Yeah, we'll try to get something a bit better, eh? Yeah, and then that will be two days complete <clears throat> eating only what we catch each other. Yeah, I'm pretty hungry now. I, I know that I need to have this meal because it's yeah. going to keep me going for tomorrow. Yeah, to get through tomorrow, we need this feed. Yeah, not bad. A little bit more. Keeping the scales on too, obviously because we're taking the skin off, that kind of just protects the meat a little bit from the bare coals. And when we peel it off, that meat should be nice and cooked underneath. But just keep it on there and make sure it's super hot. I'm feeding a more wong. Let's go. Shoo-hoo. <laughs> Sunset is popping off in the background. We got the fire going. We're having a mental feed. Don't know about mental. We're having a good we're having feed. A, we're having a feed. We're having a feed. Me and Nick, we're always out on our own adventures, chasing the best of the best quality seafood. So this one, guys, it's just more of like, I guess, having a bit of a laugh. We're catching each other fish and we're just going back to the good old days of when we were kids and we'll just catch whatever we could find. That's what we we're doing out there today, oh, mate. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I had good fun with the hand spear, eh? Yeah. I haven't done it for a bit and that was that was good fun. So it's not always about catching, you know, coral trout and Spanish mackerel and stuff like that. Sometimes it's just about having a laugh with mates, being down at the beach and you know, having a little bit of a cook up. Having a wong, eh? Having a wong. I'm flipping my wong. <laughs> You're flipping your wong? Oh, well, your wong. <laughs> All right. I'll wait a little bit because mine was a little bit bigger. Yeah, you don't one. have to brag, right? <laughs> I'll cool. just give mine another minute or two, mate. <laughs> another hour or two. I wanted to make sure that you're fed for tomorrow. <laughs> Here we go. Look at this thing, man. Oh my goodness. It actually doesn't look too bad. <laughs> <laughs> it looks <laughs> <laughs> Dig them up, mate. Chuck them straight on. This is the most traditional style of cook-up. Might not look the best, but it does the job. Okay, Wade. Here's your dinner, brother. Beautiful, more warm. I'm getting sick. Charcoal burnt 
straight in the coals going on our better rocks right here. Well, mate. Look at that. Don't you worry about that. That's the customer service. Because I'm getting you a half cooked morwong. Sashimi? <laughs> half sashimi, <laughs> half charcoal. Oh, a bit of slop and crunch. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> oh, bro, and the, the stick just broke off in its meat too. Look at this thing, man. I can't even pick it up. It's gonna get a bit sandy. Oh, no, yeah. no! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. I'm uh, going with chopsticks. <laughs> For my <laughs> I'm going just primitive bare hands, bro. You can't go chopsticks <laughs> with a charcoal maw. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to peel back this skin right here. Oh, this looks actually pretty nicely cooked, bro. It doesn't peel up here because it's still bloody raw, but <laughs> yeah. we'll take some of this back in. I could eat the ass of a low-flying duck right now. I'm that hungry. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> let's hook into Good some, buddy. mate. Cheers. Cheers, brother. Just some more. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, dude. That's not even that bad. <laughs> Considering the score yeah, was right. a one out of five. We've got the typical like fishy taste people don't like, but we love everything ocean related. So like I can, that's fine. <laughs> a little bit raw, yeah. a little bit I raw. I can't eat that bro, that's raw. <laughs> Far out. A little bit raw up top here on your one too. So don't use that. There it is, the eyeball. Dude, yeah. yours is that much dirt on it. <laughs> you can't even see the white. <laughs> wow. Doesn't taste bad. It just got stuck <laughs> in my teeth bro. Yeah. It's like hard in texture. Mm. All right, all right, we're wrapping this up. We've smashed down the eyeball. Wong we for have. dinner. Wong down for in dinner. here. You saw nothing. And um, this will be food for us for tonight, eh? Mm. Yep. Let's get it done. Tomorrow we got a massive day. I think we're gonna send it out there tomorrow. And also, I've got the good hand spit. I'm gonna be getting something good. You, bro, you're struggling. <laughs> you'll see. You'll see. We'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. Much love. Let's go. Says. It is day two right now. Me and Nick, we're going for a bloody day two spear fishing mission with our hand spears. And guys, I'm frothing out because today I've got the good spear and I'm only hunting big game today. Nick, how you feeling? I'm running this uh, double bloody rubber setup here. One's overpowered, one's underpowered. <laughs> so we'll see what works best, but I'm confident we'll get something for sure. Bloke's been making excuses all morning, literally complaining about the rubber. I said, mate, did you even see what I was working with yesterday? Literally Ooh. snapped, first pull back. We'll see how it goes. Here we go, starting up again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll spear you right here, right now, mate. <laughs> we just got a little bit of a walk down this path to this amazing crystal clear beach. From there, we're gonna swim straight off the beach and get into some big game. Guys, today, um, I might even just say it in front of Nick, mate, I'm going after big game, so you are very lucky, bro. Good man, I think it's time we ate well for once. How about you right now, brother? But I'm sweating like a gypsy with a mortgage. Oh yeah, man. It's probably like 48 degrees right now, guys. We've got these sand dunes just in front of us. From there, we should get a nice look at uh, the territory that we're gonna be hunting today. Woo! Oh yeah, she's diveable. Oh yeah, she's good. She's diveable. Look at Very, clean very that clear. Look. It's actually a sick spot. Look at that view right now. Woo! We're getting bomb these sand dunes. Let's go. I reckon we make a pack today, brother, that we shoot no more wongs. Uh, so it doesn't matter what we shoot, you can shoot whatever else you want for me. Just can't be a wong. Are safe. Yeah. The wongs are safe. Not that there's anything wrong with them, but I just think that we are. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're hyping them up last now. <laughs> now we want nothing to do with them. Yeah. I feel like we just got to mix it up, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, for sure. We've ticked off the wong onto bigger and better things, I reckon. Absolutely. We got white sandy beaches, crystal clear water. Where is everyone? No one here. No one here. Oh. Check this out too. Oh, we got a cray tail on the shore bro. That's what we want to see. Cray tail looks like from a red cray or something like that. So that's a good sign. One of them would be nice. Absolutely bro. All right, we're going to get our gear ready and uh, get straight in that water. I'm sweating. All right, guys, I've got the good spear today. So what I'm thinking is I'm just going to get out there and I'm going to be nice to him today. I gave him the more wonk and the sea urchin yesterday. So today we're going big game hunting. I'm not coming in, guys, until I shoot something big. So maybe big queenie, maybe big trevally. You never really know what we're going to see out there, but we're going something big. It's going to happen. Speak it into existence, baby. Let's get it done. It's hot. I'm thirsty. I'm hungry, but game plan is we dove along here before, so I know there's some good stuff around. With that dodgy hand spear, I'm sort of limited to what I can get, so we'll get it done. We'll get something. There'll be something out there. Imagine a cray, too. Just grab a cray out. That'd be sick. Good luck, brother. Please get me something half decent. I got this, bro. Don't you stress. All right, this is where I'm thinking we jump out, guys. So just here, 
and then make our way along this edge. Alright, so we got a little bit of a situation with the hand spear here. Um, I've had a few shots, a few misses, but I did manage to plug a fish and it came off. Now, hopefully I didn't smack it too bad. He seemed alright and he, and he swam off quick. So I'm praying that he'll be alright, but I think I'm going to call it and I don't want to shoot any more fish because these rubbers, they're just not it. That is a proper spear gun rubber. You can barely load that back with one hand, like one finger. It's just ridiculous. And then that, like, are you kidding me? Now, I know that was part of the challenge, but um, yeah, I don't want to keep shooting fish that get off and die. What I might do is just chill for a bit, see if Wade comes in with a nice fish, and, um, and we'll go from there. But yeah, I hope you guys understand. I just don't want to be shooting fish and having them get off. It's not what it's about, um, even when it's a bit of fun. Beautiful cuttlefish guys. I'm gonna put him in my back pocket and see if we can go get another fish. Cause that would just wrap this up. I just came in, dropped that uh, cuttlefish on the shore because I was keeping him in my back pocket while I was diving, but there was heaps of sharks coming in and buzzing me. Not really that safe, to be honest. Dropped him on the shoreline. We're gonna try go get Nick a fish now, and then I uh, will call it. That is a giant octopus! That thing is huge, man! What the heck? Are you freaking kidding me, man? Alright, he's completely dead right now, guys. This has got to be the one of the biggest octopus I've ever seen in my life, bro. This thing is going to be a feast for Nick, man. That thing is so huge. Look at its tentacles. It's still moving, man. That is nuts! Oh my goodness! We also got this thing. Beautiful cuttlefish. These things are such nice eating. Wade shot something for you. Holy crap. Bro, look at the size of that octopus, man. <laughs> that thing is a freaking giant, bro. You're gonna be eating like kings. Woo! Wait, you're telling me you got a squid as well? 
<laughs> Bro, you are eating like a king oh tonight. Holy crap. Hey, where's, yours? where's yours? Yeah, so um, about that. <laughs> what happened, mate? Well, the bloody thing, no power, bro. Can't hold it, can't. It's it's rendered useless. So um, you didn't get me anything? You got nothing, bro. You got, you got nothing. me nothing. <laughs> Look at him I just got you a literal feed, bro, of like the best seafood. And you got me nothing. Yep. That's how it is in life sometimes, brother. <laughs> I'll share it with you, bro. I'll share it with you. Bro, there's enough there to feed a yeah. small tribe, bro. You know what, since it's the end of the challenge and we're that hungry, bro, let's just cook these up, have a feast together on the beach and just enjoy our time, eh? I reckon I'm putting on the crown right now, guys. <laughs> Here we as go. As champion of this challenge. A uh, little rigged, I'm but that's putting, all right. I'm putting on the crown as champion right here. Oh, I've done it. Yeah! <laughs> let's cook these bad boys up. All right, guys, we've got this giant octopus. I think we're going to gear up and head back, eh? Yeah, let's do it. We're chasing that sunset, so we'll go do a cook-up now because we're that hungry before it gets dark and uh, feast on these catches. Oh, Jeez, these things are giant, yeah. bro. Let's go. We're pulled up at our bloody dream location. This is the zone right now, obviously the local. And uh, we're just going to get straight into the cleanup of this oki. We're going to clean it up and also that cuttlefish and then we'll get the fire cranking and get it straight on eh? let's do it another crack of sunset let's clean up this uh we'll do the cuttlefish first eh? so yeah. pretty similar to a squid we'll grab the head stick our thumb straight in there and uh we just pull that straight out try to get as much as we can out just like that that we can actually use as bait or we can eat the tentacles whatever we really want to do looking at the beach and you find something on the beach that's what that is right there that is the backbone of the cuttlefish right there a lot of people that are into birds actually give this to their parrots i think it like sharpens their beaks or something oh, like okay. that super cool little fact but cool. anyway don't need that cool. so we just get our finger put it straight underneath this uh flap right here <laughs> so you can see these flaps right here that is the part that we want to get off so we're pretty much just grabbing it and just peeling it straight off and you can see underneath is all that beautiful white meat is actually so good so we'll get this other side off you're just left with this beautiful piece of cuttlefish what we're going to do is just get that straight on the pan man cuttlefish and squid that is my favorite so i'm talking right, i'm that hungry hey man i'm so excited for this you can see his eyes right there he's going to run the knife just straight along and it'll kind of just start should start coming away from itself so you can see it's kind of like coming away from the itself right there just want to make your final cuts just like that. And then you're just left with this massive head, guys. That right there pretty much holds all the guts and everything. We don't really want that. See ya. Feed that, all the crabs and everything, we'll eat it. And then we're just left with all of this stuff right here. That is all the octopus meat. So what we do, so we just flip it inside out and then we pop this thing right here, guys. Oh, the beak. So this right here is the beak, man. I was super careful when I shot him, man. These things can actually give you a proper big bite, hey. They're like a bloody parrot. Look at that thing, man. So yeah. that right there, you can see, is his beak. That is gonna hurt, so. And I'm pretty hungry, so we'll, we'll cut off a few tentacles and that should be absolutely beautiful. This is gonna be super interesting, guys. We've got octopus and cuttlefish, so I guess it's gonna be a little bit of a taste test to see which one tastes better. We're just gonna spark up this fire real quickly and uh, yeah, hopefully you can get it going, hey? Let's do it. Yeah, yep, let's grab some twigs, eh? Yeah, so I kind of just like chucking my uh, my fish and I guess everything straight over the fire and getting that nice charcoal bit, but I think you like it more of an even cook on the coals. Yeah, right? I like building a fair coal base where it's super hot and actually cook it evenly. I feel like I'm just that impatient. I'm just like any You are, that's, that's what I mean. When you cook with coals, you got to get the fire base going. It's got to be big. you got to have a bit of patience, but we're obviously starving, so Wade's ready bro, to throw this I wanna thing on the I want to hook into this thing right now, bro. I'm so hungry. Yeah, I'm not messing around, guys. I'm getting this straight on. <laughs> oh, man. That is exactly how I like it. Big flame. Straight on the pan, even, We don't bro. even have any oil. <laughs> no oil. This is the eat only what you catch challenge, so. True. That's what Fair it's enough. going, bro. No oil, no seasoning. It's straight like over the fire, want. bro. I think it'll still be good. A lot of people always say, like, when is this bloke going to say that something tastes bad? But 
guys, like we're eating fresh octopus and fresh cuttlefish right now. Like how much does this stuff cost exactly. at the shops? And we've been diving all day with that hungry. Everything tastes so much better when you're super hungry and you cook it yourself. Um, but we'll give you the honest opinion. I'll be, I'll be harsh, but I'm sure I'm gonna love it when I'm that hungry. How's the cook on it right now though? Oh my goodness, man. How are we gonna flip this? Sticks. Nothing like a bit of bark to add some texture, baby. The really exciting part, guys, the part where we get to flip it, add a little bit of bark for texture. We want to make sure that, uh, oh yeah, man. See how it's starting to go that red color? That's when you know she's starting to cook through that oki. Oh yeah, babe. Get this pan on the flame. Get that temperature back up. I'm interested to see how this goes. I've never actually eaten an octopus this big over the fire, so could go either way. Could be absolutely just taste like rubber, or it could be good. I do a lot of bow fishing for octopus and stuff like that, so usually those ones are quite a bit smaller. This one is a mammoth, bro. This thing is giant. I reckon at this point, a bit of olive oil could really go a long way. <laughs> <laughs> Looks dry. It's, it's gonna be like eating a Sahara desert. <laughs> yeah, man, it's already so hot and dry. <laughs> oh. All right, we've got some nice color on this octopus and cuttlefish now, as you guys can see. Look at that, oh yeah. So I'm just gonna drag it off this fire. We'll just let it sit there for a little bit. Cool down. Sun's setting. It's one of our last it's afternoons together. Prime time too. It's a little, I reckon. Yeah. Cuttlefish cool. first, bro. A little bit romantic right now, I would say. It is, eh? Has right. it cooled? Yeah, it's cooled down. Right, let's just. Oh, that's not a good sign. <laughs> Feels like rubber, man. We're eating it. It doesn't matter. We oh, have bro, to eat. That's it. not good. Moment of truth, guys. I'm telling you exactly how it is. If it's good, I'll tell you if it's good. We'll be honest. All right. Let's cheers, mate. It. Cheers. It's rubbery as hell. It's the not taste that bad. is the mm. taste is good. Like it's not as rubbery as what I thought it was when I ripped it. Your jaw's got to work a bit extra for this one. Um, um, <laughs> Sergeant Swing Jaw over here is just making sure that his cuttlefish goes down. <laughs> could choke and die. I really want to try it. All right, this. let's try the oki. I'm gonna get a little bit smaller of a bit here. Surprisingly, like almost less chewy. You would think it'd be way worse. It's not, it's actually, it's not too bad. Personally, I like the cuttlefish better. That's me. What, what do you like better? I'm gonna rate the oki. There you the go. The smaller part of the tentacle on the oki down here, I rate that. That is it for this episode, guys. Loved having you guys. If you like this one, please like and subscribe. Me and Nick, we went on one wild adventure a few days ago. If you wanna check out that one, it'll be across over at his channel, Nick Fry. I'll leave it in the description of this one. Much love to all you guys, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Cheers, legends. Cheers. Cheers.